Hello, what's up, MMA fans? Today we are catching up with PFL semi-finalist Antonio Carlos Júnior, Cari de Sapato. Welcome. Thank you so much, Alonso. Pretty good to be here with you. My pleasure, my friend. Uh, Antonio, I was seeing your, your card in Sherdog today. It's pretty amazing. In January, you were released from UFC. Uh, and then April, you already changed completely your life. Uh, you, you winning the first fight by submission, getting the first place in the boarding card. And now you are in the semifinal of, uh, in the playoffs of the light heavyweight in PFL. How do you feel about all those changes in only six months? Feeling just great, you know, feeling awesome, you know, great moment in my life. Uh, three, already like three fights in this year, you know, last three years I fought three times. And this year I fought three times also. So feeling great, you know, feeling I'm on, on you know, this is my time. I'm on the right time, right place. Everything just running good in life. And uh, what about the event itself, Karate Zapato? You did uh, mm -hmm. 13 fights in UFC, and you already done have done two fights in PFL. How about the structure, uh, uh, the, the event itself? What's the difference between PFL and UFC for you? I think it's awesome, you know. I always like the PFL system. Even when I was on UFC, I looked at the PFL. You know, the system is pretty good because, like, you win the fight, you go to the next one, then you go to the next one. You know, you always, like, you know when you're going to fight. You know, you, you have your schedule, you know. You, you can have your schedule. You know when you're going to fight. You know, you know the dates and everything. So you can uh, organize your training, your life, you know, everything in a better way uh i think you know i i said that before like ufc is being a lot of entertainment you know less sport you know this is a sport you know but they being a lot of entertainment uh it changed a lot after like uh reebok stuff and reebok deal you know especially after they sold the ufc i think a lot of things change it uh i i completely understand you know like They, they want to make some money, but uh, I'm, I'm an athlete. So for the athletes, I don't think it was a good change. You know what I mean? So I think PFL is focused on the, on the fight, on the sport. So that's why I, I'm feeling like great. You know, I think they treat us very well. You know, everything is just, uh, it's, it's just awesome. Uh, Carlos, you, you face Emiliano Sordi, the Argentinian, which was the champion of uh, 2019. Uh, he won in that phase. He won five times straight, winning all by submission or knockout. And this year, he, he got a draw and he, he got a win by decision. What, mm -hmm. you, how do you see him as an opponent? in the, the first fight of the playoffs? Yeah, first of all, it's a good classic. Brazil against Argentina is like, <laughs> especially for the soccer fans, right? Uh, I think he, he's, a, he's a tough guy, you know, hits hard, I, you know, hits hard, definitely. Uh, he's good in the first round, always have a good first round, uh, a lot of power on his punches. Uh, I think he didn't fight well on the last two fights. I think I can see a lot of holes on his game. You know, we trained we trained together a long time ago when I I used to live in Rio. Uh, he went to Rio. We trained together. He's a really nice guy. You know, we 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 nice to each other. Uh, I think he's the one of the favorites for sure. You know, um, he he won the you know the last season. So he he's definitely. Uh, a tough guy, you know, five win streak, you know, all by knockouts or submission. I know he's not an easy fight, uh, but I think I just need to do the right thing to get the win over him. Uh, do the strategy and everything, the train, everything focus on, on the right path to the, to the victory. What about by the other side, you have uh, Cesar Mutante against Martin <clears throat> Hamlet. Uh, how do you see that fight and who do you think will be with you in the final? 
Yeah, also tough fighters, you know, uh, different styles. Uh, Hamlet is like, he's really, really big, you know, for the division. Uh, pretty good wrestler. I think he's, a, he, he's not freestyle. I think he's a greco Romo wrestler. <clears throat> pretty strong. Uh, the other side, Mutanchi, you know, is from Brazil. For sure, I'll be rooting for him. Uh, but has a good guillotines, good like submission game too, you know. She, uh, he, he's from Capoeira, so has a, a good like footwork. Uh, I think yeah, I think it's pretty even, you know. It's like fifty fifty. It's pretty hard to say for sure. I'll be rooting for for Mutanti, but it's hard to say who's gonna win. I hope I, I hope he does. <laughs> Any plans about the million dollar in case you win uh, the, the 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 final? <laughs> get some buy some little stuff for me that i like it you know like some some gifts for myself but you know i think be smart yeah i i get i think i get a a lot of things that i want in my life you know i have my house i i think i just need need to be smart and do the right right thing you know make a little more than this <laughs> <laughs> nice nice got it support and uh What about uh, Bouchesha? You are very close friends, and he's preparing for the MMA debut in One FC. How is him now? <clears throat> yeah, he's doing pretty good. You know, I could see how he improved since he gets here. You know, uh, I, I remember I was training with him the first day he, he came to the gym. I was just playing with him. You know what I mean? And I was like. I, I can hit him hard, you know. I can. I, we go hard, and it's hard to do things on him. He, he, you know, won some rounds. It's like it's pretty back and forth, you know. When I train with him, I'm not saying about jujitsu. I'm talking about MMA, you know, like a real sport. So he, he, he definitely like he improved a lot, you know. He, he's so talented, you know. He, he, like he's 13 times which world champion. It's not for everyone, you know. He, he's, he's the goal in BJJ, you know, he's, he's crazy, he's so talent, you know, learn so fast, so he, you know, there's a lot of people taking care of him, you know, we got a good team behind him, uh, I'm always here for, for helping him also, so he's, he's unbelievable, I hope he, he got a good, like, good path for his MMA career too. And got it's about to talking about uh, another teammates, We also have uh, <laughs> Thiago Marreta fighting Johnny Walker in, in a few weeks. How, how is Marreta for that fight? Yeah, they both hit hard, right? They, they both like good strikers. I think Marreta, there's more skills and more uh, tools for this, for this fight. You know what I mean? Uh, I see uh, Johnny Walker has a good first round, you know, but after that, he don't perform the same way and Mahita keeps keep doing the same thing keeping like you know he, he keep the same same fight you know what I mean the first second third round he's the same guy so I think he, he's a favorite in this fight he's training so hard he's motivated you know I always help him you know I, I do whatever I can for help my team my, my, my you know uh training partners and He, he's he, he's unbelievable too what he did like the fight against John Jones you know John Jones is the goal you know he's the best of, you know him Anderson Silva some guys I think they, they just unbelievable and what he did I, I even think he won the fight you know but I know how hard it is to take the belt from the champion you know especially a champion like John Jones but I think it was a pretty even fight you know what I mean so even like I think he won the fight What about Dustin Poirier? He will fight Conor McGregor for the rubber match the third time yeah. on July 10th. How, how do you see that third fight? The trilogy. Is, I, I hope Dustin get another win. You know, my training partner also. Uh, I think he's so motivated, you know. He's in, on, on his best moment on, on his career too. You know, I think McGregor already had had his moment you know double champ he made a lot of money you know a lot of money he fought Floyd Mayweather he, it's hard to be motivated you know not fighting for a belt or I, I don't know I think I don't know how 
how's his mind you know what i mean he, he he's not the same guy he was before he's not the trash talking guy anymore you know i don't know what changed on his life i know he, he got a son he got his family you know uh and it's hard to keep motivated i i, I don't know i think dustin's so motivated you know so happy for being fighting him again you know he he don't even fight for the bell he went to fight mcgregor again you know? and i think he's gonna do great you know mcgregor is also like uh great on his first round his first round is awesome he's like he's pretty strong fast you know uh but good counter punch but dustin grows you know round you know round after round he always like he keeps going you know what i mean he gets better i think it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice fight i think the, the strategy is gonna be the same for sure because he won the last fight i think he's gonna you know keep the plan <laughs> nice antonio uh, if next year uh pfl open a uh, uh, middleweight division would you come down to middleweight division or mm -hmm. stay in the light heavyweight division right I, you, uh, i remember that you you won tough brazil three as a heavyweight you won yeah. four fights and got the Tough Brazil title. Uh, yeah. Where do you feel better, heavyweight, light heavyweight, or middleweight? Definitely light heavyweight. You know, light heavyweight is is good for me because you don't, don't got to lose a lot of weight. It's just perfect. I don't got to do a lot of diet or, you know, whatever. Light, uh, like heavyweight was, the guys was too heavy for me, you know. It's just the opportunity that I have and I, I couldn't let it go. So I get the opportunity, you know, I embrace the opportunity and you know go for it uh but the guys was way heavier than me you know so i uh i think that at the at the time by the time i was even lighter you know i used to walk around like 207 something like this now i walk around like 220 you know i i get i get older i get heavier so it's hard to make 185 you know it's not it's hard uh I think it's, it's, it's bad for my body, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not a good thing from, for my health, uh, for my, you know, for, for anything. Maybe that, that's one of the reasons that why I, you know, got a lot of injuries uh, in the past year. So uh, I think definitely I'll keep on, on line halfway, unless something completely change it but I don't think so I don't think so is I, I feeling way better now you know happier you know I, I'm not worried about like the, the food you know what I mean I, I, I like we, we to eat health but I don't like to diet you know because I like eating you know I like eat, to eat a lot actually <laughs> so <laughs> I think keeping on the 205 you know no, like light have weights that is the best option for me definitely great great keep healthy that's keep healthy healthy and keep uh happy that's the most <laughs> important thing for a fighter man for i sure. was talking to hernan barão uh a few 100%. days ago and, and he said exactly what you just told me man it's very important to be healthy and happy that's the most yeah. important for the fighter routine yeah for the fighter you know for for your health mentality for you know mental health is like you need to You need to feel good. You know what I mean. You cannot do something that you that you hate. I, I love fighting, but I hate dieting. You know, so uh, <laughs> I think keeping on the, the 205 is, is is good. I I still need to lose some weight, but not like 35 pounds as I used to. You know, now I lose like 15 pounds. What is it's okay for me? You know, it's not it's not that bad. So definitely 205 is way better for me now. Thanks a lot, Karen Zapata. Yeah, and you see, like, and you can tell a lot of guys, like, went up on his division and gets way better, you know. Maheta is one of them, you know. He's fighting way exactly. better than he used to fight in 185. A lot of guys did that, doing a lot of better, you know. So, yeah, that's uh, the best. Moicano, too. Moicano now Moicano. Is, Man, this is guy feeling is, better. He's very yeah. talented. I, he's going to be the champion. You have no idea how good he is. You know, sometimes he don't fight the way he, like, he's crazy i think he, he's the best for me he's the best on the on, on the at the gym you know i think he's crazily good 
he's he's so fucking good. I, I I don't know how to say, it, but he's like he, he's so good. I always tell him, man, please believe in yourself because you're so good, man. You're so good. You know, I see <laughs> I watching him train and stuff, and he's like he's he he's he's like so 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 good. Great, man. Thanks a lot, my head. Oh, cara de sapato. It was a very nice talk. Thank you, Alonso. I appreciate that, man. Always nice to talk to you.